WUMB with Red Molly, Lori McAllister, Abby Gardner, and the new member of Red Molly, Molly Bender. Welcome. Hello, thank you. It's your first visit here to WUMB. It certainly is. Lori and Abby are like old friends. They practically live here. It seems like <laughs> that. Yeah, we have okay. a, an arrow bed in the back room. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you did a, did a members concert for us uh, back in April, and we couldn't have been happier to have that uh, have you do that for us. And uh, we lost Caroline along the way. We know where she is. She's just not with you anymore. And it was an amicable decision on her behalf to just leave and take care of family and everything else. Right. Exactly. And uh, where'd you find Molly? Oh, actually, um, we um, we were doing side of the road. <laughs> but she had a guitar on her back and we said, "Get in." Uh, well, basically, um, back in 2008, uh, I got an email from a presenter of a club down in Virginia, the Iota Cafe, and the presenter was asking, "Would it be okay if this woman named Molly Venter opens mm -hmm. for your show?" Um, and so I looked online at her MySpace, and I was very taken with her beautiful voice, and uh, I sent the email to Abby. And Abby happened to have recently met Molly at the um, Kerrville Folk Festival, I think, or Actually, the Rocky Mountain Folk Fest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. song yeah. school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in oh, no, four. Yeah. Oh, oh, four. A long time ago. So um, Abby was familiar with Molly, and so of course we approved her as the opener for that show. And um, I remember during the sound check um, when Molly was just checking her voice and her guitar. Uh, how impressed I was and, and how lovely um, her music was and uh, so without a second thought we decided to put her on as the opener for other tours that we did. Nice. We did a Georgia and Alabama tour uh, the following year as well as a Midwest tour so she opened approximately 10 shows for us mm -hmm. and then um, when the time came for like you described that it was time for Caroline to step down because we've been sort of getting offers for longer and longer tours and um, Caroline has a young son and as she put it at Falcon Ridge she um, she wants to um, not only be a, a good mother to her son but she wants to stay married is the way she put it at Falcon Ridge. <laughs> well, it's tough to do when you're a musician. But exactly, yeah, you know. so it had become kind of challenging and um, so when it was time to look for our new member um, we were you know considering uh, various people but Molly was at the top of the list just because we really knew what it was like not only to play with her um, and we, we knew that she'd be a good fit musically, but we also um, loved being around her, and that is a huge part of the decision. And so it was kind of an obvious choice is the answer. And her name's Molly, so it works. Kind of like, John, kind of like Johnny Bravo. <laughs> soon, <yeah. laughs> Red Molly's in the studio with us. They are at Club Passim tonight. Uh, their new album, their second studio album, has been out for a while. It's called James. With Molly joining, has the dynamic of the band changed just a, a little bit? Not that, you, you know, I mean, the energy and everything else, not that Carolyn did anything negative, it's just having yeah. that new person in there. Certainly, yeah, when one third of your band is different. Um, the thing is, Molly has been uh, touring solo for a long time, and she does hardcore touring where she slept in her car for three months. So um, that kind of thing is really inspiring to us, mm -hmm. to Lari and I, that we're learning how to tour better, from Molly, and um, you know, I think Molly's getting energized by the the bigger sound of three people. So it's kind of a, a nice give and take that we're everyone. It just feels a little more energized. And you play well with others, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning. Yes. <laughs> I mean, is it different for you having been a solo artist for oh. as long as you have been to you know have Lori and Abby? Oh, everything's different. Yeah. yeah, the sound, the touring life. Yeah. It's, and then I said after our very first, well, we got this great initiation and we went up to Nova Scotia for that festival and mm -hmm. after that I was like, I'll never go back. <laughs> <laughs> How was your first show? Was it with, with these guys? Oh, uh, it was Ladies, lovely. It was a beautiful setting. I was nervous and it was it was lovely. We had nice little 30 minute chunks. We had about seven of those through mm -hmm. the festival. So it was good. I got to get nervous seven different times. <laughs> and then it worked for awesome. some of that. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> now, what was... Uh, Caroline's last show, because like, I know that that was at Falcon Ridge, where you guys had formed, right? Exactly. We formed the band in 2004. So you've gone full circle. Full circle, six full years, da down to the yeah. same exact venue. And, you know, Caroline had mentioned um, that she, she wanted it to be at Falcon Ridge. You know, we were trying to decide, mm -hmm. well, when does the tr transition exactly take place? And she wanted it to be somewhere where we felt really at home, and she felt at home, and there was a bunch of faces out there that she recognized rather than, for example, up in Nova Scotia where she wouldn't know anybody. Um, and so, yeah, it was Falcon Ridge and it was, um, it was an intensely emotional and uh, beautiful and also difficult time for all of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And was there a point that, did the four of you perform at any time during that 
transition of handing the baton over? Oh, not during the transition, no. Um, Molly came to see one of our last shows, though. Um, during that week, I think it was. Yeah, um, it was like the third to last show. Oh, New it was so nice to see, you know, Caroline and Molly hugging and <laughs> swapping stories about, I don't know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> what are their likes and dislikes? <laughs> don't give that me too much sugar. <laughs> you know, I don't know what they're like. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure Laurie gets a cup of coffee yes. in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's WUMB. I'm talking with Red Molly. They're at Club Passing tonight, and uh, we're talking with them. And uh, let's let's hear a Molly Bento original, shall we? Oh. Sure. This one was fun because I wrote it about six weeks ago, and I sent it via the internet the to, interwebs. The, to the interwebs <laughs> to the girls, and they threw on harmony, and it, it just turned into a new song. Yeah. 